Chronicles, myself Rajana, and I welcome you all in a session of bio, session of science standard four. The chapter which we will discuss today is the twelfth chapter that is air, water, and weather. This is part third of this video. In the previous two video, we already have discussed about the air, water, set, and uh, condensation, evaporation, land breeze, sea breeze. These all are available in our pre previous video. So in this particular video, we will discuss about the impurities in water. Okay, impurities in water. This is the type of contamination of water that is. We will learn how that is being uh, taken out. That impurities is being taken out from the water and make the water fit for use. So. Impurities of water, uh, as you can see, the water available in our uh, pond, well, hand pump, or in other rivers, these are not fit for drinking or not fit for the domestic purposes. You can use that water for cleaning clothes and all, but it is not used for uh, inhaling or it it should not be taken inside our body because it contains so many impurities. Okay, what are the impurities? Means contaminated water. Um, sticks are there, muds are there, sometimes stones are there, sands are there, some chemicals are there, salt, minerals, so many things are available in the water which is not fit for our body. So the water we use for drinking is filtered water or RO water or kent water, okay. Or we, are, you, we used to have that jar from the market. So that water is good for drinking because that is filtered. That is pure water. It does not contain impurities. Some, some more process we will learn about the uh, making impure water into pure form. So first of all we will learn something that impurities are of two types. What are they? Soluble impurities and insoluble impurities. Soluble impurities are the type of impurities which are soluble in water as salt. Salt is, if you will take a glass of water and dissolve some amount of salt in it, that water becomes impure and you cannot see that salt because it is soluble. It is totally mixed with water and it is soluble in water. So, soluble impurities are the type of impurities which cannot be seen, which cannot be seen like salt. That what that so, particles or particles of salt or particles of impurities is not being visible by us. Next is insoluble for, for, um, impurities. Insoluble impurities are the type of impurities that is not being so that is not being soluble and that can be seen by us. Uh, for example, if you take uh, water from the uh, dirty place or dirty pond, what you will find? You will find some fungus, some algae, some mud, some stones, uh, pieces of uh, straw or these type of bad things, contaminated water. So that all the things, impure things can be visible floating here and there. Okay, so you can easily see that. So insoluble impurities are the type of impurities which can be See, which can be seen. For example, see straw, mud, stones, pieces of cloth, detergent, uh, bubbles, uh, wrappers of chocolates, uh, dustbin material, domestic materials. So many impurities are available, and these are impurities are insoluble in water, and we can say say that impure, uh, sorry, insoluble impurities. Okay, two type of imp uh, impurities: soluble and insoluble. Soluble means the impurities which is mixed with water and we cannot say it but insoluble are the which are not mixed with water and can be seen okay now there are some type of uh, process you can say that is by which we can make our impure water to we can try our best by this through process to make the impure water to the pure so sedimentation, what do you mean by the sedimentation? The process of settling down of heavy insoluble impurities, this method is used to remove sand from the water. You might have seen, if you take a bucket of water from the, if you take a bucket of water from some well or some pond, what you will find, it has a dissolved impurities in it. If you will heat that bucket of water, if Suppose this is a bucket of 
water and if you have taken it contains so many uh, impurities in it if you will keep or let them set for a couple of hour what will happen the same bucket of water here it is a pure water and you can find some impurities here it is settled down what are what happen the impurities settle down and you take the pure water from that this very process is known as sedimentation that process is known as sedimentation next is decantation decantation is the process it this follow sedimentation the clean water above the sand is poured into the another container leaving the sand behind this is the process followed by the sedimentation in which when you find this sedimentation the impurities are settled down what we will do slowly we will pour this water this water in the another clean container we will pour it in another clean container and here it is a pure water and all the uh, impurities are settled in the first bucket so this process is um, followed by the sedimentation and it is this, this is known as decantation okay next one is filtration as you see your mother is pouring tea through a strainer okay in a school or in a laboratory you can see um, people uh, children used to uh, filter the things with a filter paper okay so you can uh, you also have seen taking out uh, some uh, fishes from the net as they are using the net fish net so taking out the impurities out through the strainer filter paper filter products this is known as filtration to filter the impurities from the water the filtration takes place there are so many things as you can see strainer filter paper so many things are there which are used to take out the impurities from the water so these are the process to clean the water to make the water pure next is soluble impurity impurities in water can be removed by boiling it also if you know you have heard it from the very several time that water is being pure become pure by boiling it we should drink water only after boiling so boiling makes the water pure it also kills germs if there is any microorganism available in the water by boiling it also be clear it also be kill the germs chlorine bleaching powder or potassium permanganate are also added to kill the germ in the water these are all these are the chemicals which are used by us to make the water pure so these are the process to make to make or to clear the impurities of water to make the water pure hope you understand the chapter till then if you have any doubt you can ask me in a comment box go to the chapter read the chapter once again and you will understand okay till then bye take care